My name is Nicole Bouslong. I am from Antioch, it's in the Bay Area. Although you probably know me by now, I have cerebral palsy and it affects every aspect of my life. Even though I have cerebral palsy, it does not have me. I live a good life. I a life of independence and responsibility that I want to keep with the help of SLS, ILS, and other agencies like my day program, RCEB, and you I live on my own, in my own apartment. It rocks to be able to be my own person. I'm here today to ask you some questions about the changes to SLS as mentioned in item 9 under maximizing resources. My first question has to do with shared costs. How will shared costs affect people who choose to live alone? Will I have to live with a roommate even if I choose not to? No. This, this is really only related to people who live with someone else now. Thank you. The second area where I would like to raise some questions on is about the independent assessment mentioned in the same section. Who will be the assessor? Will it be someone who knows me, part of my IPP team, a DDS staff, or someone from another SMS agency that is not my own? What are the protections that you plan on putting into place for me to be able to continue living the life I choose to live? especially as a person who requires a lot of physical care. Will there be reasonable appeals process? Yes, we're going to continue to work with the Supported Living Network on the language to make certain that the people who receive the services continue to get the services that are needed based on their individual program plan. Thank you for your time. Thank I you. I do wish that I could have had more time to understand your plan better, especially since the cuts are still too big. Releasing it two days before asking us to provide feedback on how our lives be affected seems ridiculous. Finally,